Howdy, Howdy neighbors. neighbors! Welcome to the Face Bar. I'm Neighbor Sharif. And I'm Neighbor Sean, coming to you live on tape with a really good uh, studio audience here in Woo! Yeah! This is how Westchester yeah! do people. We decided for our fifth episode. We it's were kind of a big deal. It's a big deal. Kind of a big deal. We invited the neighbors. We invited all the neighbors. Uh, also, we've got future guests and past guests. We've got Matt Campbell, who decided to come and cook up a whole bunch of good stuff. Well, from uh, Stone Barns and some other friends brought over a uh, collaboration sausage of Fence Bar exclusive. El Chupra nice. Cabra! <laughs> uh, which actually means? I have no idea. Uh, uh, killing of, sausage. Killing of the goats? In Puerto Rico. Something like that. Yeah. In Puerto Rico. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think you should. Yeah. stuff. You're going to ask me. You should probably know, bro. I think it's, what is it, guys? Killing of the goat? Suck goat. Sure. Suck goat. Suck goat. It's a suck goat sausage. Thank um, you. But we also have, we have Sean from Green Growler. She's going to be on soon. Phil, you're going to be on. Uh, and it, 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 we got we got a lot of stuff going on. Dude, we, uh, so like, we've been doing this for three years. It's all been the same. This yeah. is the first time where there's been like 50 people watching, but yeah. it, uh, it hasn't really changed much since I feel like fine. three years ago. I don't think anything is strange. Nothing is strange over <laughs> there. Everything is fine. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what the hell are we doing out here? What are we doing here? Well, so we decided that the fence that was built to divide us that should be the thing that unites us. So we put a bar on it, that's you know? Awesome. I mean, that's what you do. Like, in anything good in life, you find a place where people will congregate. And, uh, like, Alan, uh, neighbor Alan's here right now. What's up, neighbor dude? Alan. Alan. Yeah. Neighbor Alan. Yeah. One of the first people ever at the fence bar. And, and all of our neighbors kept coming. Yeah, dude. And it's, coming. It's a beautiful thing. And coming. It's a beautiful thing. So it's, uh, it's fun to talk about beers and have people over to talk about life and things. And learn something about Westchester. Learn something about uh, just your neighbors, it's man. It's good to how great is it to know who you are communing with? It's, it's, good, it's been good to meet y'all. What up? So, we have five different uh, segments that we're going to do. So, we're going to dazzle you with the first one, which is meet your neighbor. Meet your neighbor. Oh, What's meet your neighbor about? Meet, meet your neighbor is neighbor basically... Meet the, meet the person that's, uh, that's, that's working in Westchester. They're either they're a foodie, they're a beer person, they're a farmer. Let's simplify a, it. Let's simplify it. Yeah. It's basically the people who come here. Oh, right. <laughs> we talk to them. Right. And we meet them. And find out about them. We find out about that's what it. kind of cool stuff they're into. So after meet the neighbor, we're going to go to Beer Brains. 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 So, Tell me what uh, what you like about Beer Brains. Dude, so Beer Brains is uh, my favorite segment because when I moved in here, man, I was a Bud Light drinker and just, you know, not really uh, exposed to this whole world. Uh, so when I moved in, you gave me Beer Brains. So I you've did. been giving me Beer Brains for three years now. And now he's actually got a Beer Brain. So that's pretty awesome, you know. I, mean, the beer I, 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 I like to watch as my students and yeah. pupils grow into masters, which he is trying to do. I like it. I'm yeah, trying. So to. The, the, then we go on to the. Uh, we're going. Are we to changing the, it up? Tonight? We're changing it up tonight because we got some special guests in the audience. We want to keep them here. Uh, uh, so the we're, same going time. we're going to beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. And beer report is what, man? It's where we go uh, out and we find out what's the happenings that are happening in Westchester. It's what's going on, and some of the neighbors have told us that we need to, like, extend. Future. We yeah, need a, future. We a fortnight. Because people aren't watching it live, it apparently, and they're night. not watching it on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. They're Which catching we were it, blown whatever. away by. We thought everybody was waiting for us to drop and this also, on YouTube. And all 25 of our subscribers thought so, Dude, too. the Australian <laughs> subscribers are missing out on the year report. <laughs> well, that's true. They were flushed. When they flush, it goes the wrong way, too. That's mm -hmm. negative. Yeah. Double negative. Damn, man, I gotta think about that when I get well, the right So way. after we do the, uh, the the beer report, then we're gonna go Sponsors. on to Fence Life. Fence Life. Yeah, and that's where we let you on a little some secrets that we do here at the Fence Bar that we do called Fence Life. We've got a big announcement tonight. We do a big announcement. I mean, I'd be excited if I were you. Yeah. Happy days for you watching. We're gonna ask you to take out your credit cards later. No. Um, but anyway, and then after, that, after that, after that, we rate. The last thing that we always do um, it, on Fence Bar is we rank the beers that we've been consuming. We've been doing this for three years. Yeah. Every and night, it's what does everybody like, and it's a fluid situation. And, and everybody, everybody, after. everybody has a, a vote and opinion. So do they? That's a lot of votes. Dude. What we're gonna do? Yeah. The, tonight's gonna be a little. It's gonna be. Yeah. We're gonna have to create some uh, regions. But what, what districts? But That's during this doing. actual episode, we're going to open a bunch of beers, and then at the end of the episode, uh, episode we're going to rate the ones that we opened up on how we think they rank. That's it. 
So first of all, what's uh, what's I already forgot what the first segment was. Hey, hey, I forgot. Um, what's this segment? What's this whole episode? Who's this episode brought to us by? Oh, I don't know. Come on. Wait, who are the Mikey sponsors? Tables? Who's this? Who's the sponsor? Who's the sponsor? Who's the sponsor? I think it's Sloop. Sloop Brewing Company. Yeah. Thank you, Sloop. Why do we We got Joe Turco over here from Sloop Joe, Brewing Company, the sales director. Why are we Joe waiting Turco, anymore? Where's the line? Let's bring in the biggest personality oh, that you've ever come. met. The biggest oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, now, Joe, have enough room over there? Yes. Do you want some sausage? I'm good right now. Are you sure? That's what he said. Turn out with your sausage. Eat the sausage. Right there. Just in case. Right here. Can I put it there? Okay, yeah, eat it. Now, Joe, don't forget to cheat a little bit, yeah. you know, so you can, so the camera can see your beautiful face. Yeah. yeah. All right, there it's we are. It's a beautiful are. face you got there. So, so last week we had Matt uh, Campbell. Matt Campbell was on, and Matt Campbell. Oh, did we uh, learn Matt about back. <laughs> Matt Campbell is back, by the way. He was yeah. such a successful guest that we had a, <laughs> a private back. poll that brought him back to be the butcher uh, and prepare a whole bunch of lamb and beef on, a, what's it called? An asado. An asado. Matt, what are you yeah. doing every uh, two Thursdays? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, he'll be here. Yeah, right, he'll be here. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, Matt told us last week about uh, the Being cuts. And there was just and the cuts th there's so much struggle that the butcher has to go through because it's a thousand pound animal he on hoof. To, on hoof. That's no, what I, I learned on dress. This. Dress. <laughs> well, no, that was after on after hoof? he broke it down. Yeah. It was like 800 pounds. Yeah, and it's dressed. It's dressed when it That's comes to him. He needs to undress it, I think, and he needs to <laughs> sell his eyes. Was yeah. that you? I felt something. No. Oh, my I God. I quivered. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and, and so this week, uh, we brought another Westchester legend and Joe Turco. a I man mean, who knows his beers, I'm told, because uh, Sean tells me that. A bit. <laughs> yeah. And I, look for, I, I am the guy here that apparently knows him. So we don't want to get away from things, and, and this is a Westchester show, yeah. after yes. all. So... The, the biggest thing is we want to know um, what you think of Westchester before we get into the, the beer side of the, your business. I think Westchester is the best place in the world. Westchester! Lead, 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 lead
Oh, like uh, Ryan? Oh, yeah. No, not in Brooklyn. Oh, the other right up north. Yep. Yeah, so right <laughs> off the you, Taconic. Do you refer to that as upstate? Because I hate when people refer to Westchester as upstate. They call us I, upstate. I, in no, the that's yeah. upstate to us. That's uh, yeah, right. that's upstate yeah. here. But I don't, still don't say upstate to me is Buffalo. <laughs> Yeah, Rochester, Rochester. Maybe yeah. Syracuse. Syracuse. Come on. People who Sound aren't from Albany New York. Albany York. Albany people Albany. who aren't from New York are the ones that call us upstate. Yeah. That's when you know they're not. Born. They're terrible people. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. They're, not. No, they're from they're Long nice. Island. There's a lot of nice people here today. <laughs> yeah. But but we still haven't heard. Give me a place other than the Chico Suns. We know that they're the best. You know, I like I like usually drinking outdoors. Okay. So but it's we're about to get this yeah. is the first so, yeah, it's, it's April right now. Uh, one of one of our one of our reps uh, at our distributor is a good friend and he, he gets us into the yacht club. Ooh, can we have friends like him? What yacht club? Larchmont. But you can sit Larchmont outside Larchmont Yacht Club. You can sit outside in the spring and summer and you face a Long Island Sound, you can right. see the Freedom Tower. I love right. it. Oh, I love and it's that. just such a What's cool the name spot. Of that place? Uh, Largemont Yacht Club. Large can Mont anybody Yacht go club. to the Largemont Yacht Club? You kind of have to know somebody. Okay, so let me rephrase the question. <laughs> Where can I Where go? Where are the places people can go? That if you know Christian, you can go. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, we just need the password. What is the password so, no, to but, go like, to the Largemont Yacht Club? No, but they do open events. They do pub, but it's like cool. They set up a beer tent What's the password? Outside. What's the password, dude? What's the password? I think just... It's Christian. Well, I know Joe Turco. Yeah, that's a good Christian. Yeah, maybe. He's a member. What's his... He's a member. Well, I thought we were talking outdoor, but anything. No, anything. All right, Mike, it's April. My go-to, uh, because it's not super far, is uh, Bridgeview. Bridgeview Tavern. Yeah, yeah. Tavern. that's a local yeah. Hey, we got yeah. Chris over yeah. here. Yeah, we got Chris here. Chris is up in Bridgeview. Yeah. A little yeah. shout out. Right, right, right there, right yeah. there. But I, lo I love it because now you've got the outdoors. So there you can kind of go outside. You can chill out, have a beer. Yeah. The food's awesome. And then inside's always fun. And you know, Chris, when is the uh, beer garden going to be open? Yes, Chris. Hopefully in May. May. Ooh. May. Ooh. May. Sleepy Hollow's finest, Bridgeview Tavern. Beautiful. Uh, you will find us there the, a lot. Yeah, the best. We need a fence bar at Bridgeview Tavern. Maybe we can put one on the patio. I think we could. I think we could. I think we could. Can we talk about that? Yeah. We should. Yes, we will. Beautiful. All right, so uh, tell us about something in Westchester that maybe you and your lady, Eva, like oh, to do. You know, that doesn't lady. have to do with food or beer. What's, what's a little tip? Because you've been here for, where did you grow up, first of all? Rockland. Rockland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, just yeah. across the, uh, that yeah. little uh, estuary. Wait, industrial art? Uh, yeah. Yes, we went They there. are. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Close across to there? Across the yeah. Tavernsey Bridge, basically. Where right. the hell is it? No, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I grew up there, and then two years ago, we moved to Largemont. Okay. The lady. All in. Lady's a good lady. She's, 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 that's a keeper. She's a keeper. Yeah. But she commutes to the city, so we needed to be near a train, and we found 25 this 25 minutes to large spot? Yeah, it's like super quick. Boom. Yeah. Like, hit it out. Uh, uh, just over that, even. You okay. know? And it's awesome. But our favorite thing to do, I think, not is not taking the train into the city, hopping on the Metro North. Yeah. Right next door. Yeah. To our place. Okay. And going from town to town. Town. What town? Rye. Two weeks Where are you going? Rye. Rye. Okay. Cold okay. okay. Spring. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you do the stops like, uh, like during the same during day? During spring and summer, well, like just if you get on, it's two minutes in the next. Now, do you pay, or do you, and, and you go to a De Chico's and Son at every stop? I try, but there's just not <laughs> that many. Oh, damn it. They're working on that. They're slacking, of course. That's they are. Northern so that's that's, 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 that's your pro true. tip. Your pro tip is take the train from Grand Central and stop at every stop, have a beer, have yeah, a meal. Yeah, it's awesome. That's it's awesome. awesome. Yep. So you got the in Village Beer Garden now in Port Chester. Yeah. That's connected right to the train station. It's awesome. And then you're going to show the calf, which is always... The Capitol that's, Theater. That's probably like that don't know number one on the list. What that I, is, I think, for Westchester. The Cap. Awesome. Like oh, that. that's yeah. another pro tip. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number so one Cap. You've got some uh, exciting news that's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with, with the brewery. Sleep. Yeah. So I mean, I think I think that now now's your chance because you're he's fish killed. That's that's in Dutchess. Hold on, yeah. I'll set you up. I'll set you up. Okay. Yep. Um, you go. guys are opening up a place in East Fishkill. Yep. But more recently, you've gotten a, a canning line because I follow you on Instagram. See? Tell me. Oh. Tell me about it. So we're draft only right now. But do you ever can? Did you have you ever? Well, we before? well we can at the tasting room. So we have limited release. Is that Crowlers? Weekly? No, it's 16 ounce cans. Okay. And we do can releases every Thursday at noon. Every Thursday at noon in Elizaville. And it's in Elizaville. And we also do growler fills there. And uh, will you fill up all these different types of growlers? Bring them on in. Anything? Does it matter what it says on it? Nothing at all. Okay. We all encourage right. everybody. All right. right. And then we're opening a new spot. 
in East Fishtail. And that... It's not our, a small spot. Our spot now is pretty small. <laughs> it's it's probably the size spot. of this. It's the size of the spot. <laughs> which is still big, but yeah. you know. And then our new spot's about 26... Thousand square feet. Mm. So is that twenty six thousand times as big as this? So we're we're going from a large amount, a small, a decent amount of beer to a large amount. So we're going from five thousand barrels a year to twenty five thousand. And then congratulations. The big thing. Thank you. We're putting That's in a canning amazing. line. So we'll have we're draft only now in the market. We'll have twelve and canning. Cans. Uh, just I just want people that are listening at home uh, about listen to canning. We're going to this. We're gonna be talking about that a little bit later mm -hmm. in, the, in the beer break. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so we end every every episode, segment. Uh, or sorry, every segment, segment. of uh, meet the neighbors with three main questions. The first one is what, what beer, beer is in your fridge right now? Not what you want it to be. Not that what you want to impress all of these people. Yeah, in your fridge for sure. Right now. Uh, what, have, what's in your fridge? Uh, double dry hop Green Island. What's that? From Sloop. Oh, Sloop. Uh, I've never heard I of have a uh, Expedition Stout oh, from Bell. Bell's. What year? From uh, 2017, I think. So I've got no, a, I'm sorry, 16. I've got a 2009 16. if you want to do a little Perfect. Side I'm in. Side. I'm in. And uh, a Miller High Life bottle. Miller High Life. Uh, we're going to talk about that The champagne of beers. <laughs> it is the my, champagne I, of I beers. I left my Miller High Life in the house. Damn. Uh, question number two. Yes, I'm ready. Go ahead. Uh, question number two is, if you're throwing a party, like what this, kind of beer do you get? What's your strategy? Where do you go? Fill us in on your... What, 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 what goes are the beers on behind that you're Joe Turco's brain when it comes to parties? Basically, I'm looking for a solid IPA, okay. a lager, yeah. and then you got to get super cheap stuff. Oh. Yeah. Old Milwaukee. Old Milwaukee. <laughs> you know, I was uh, at the Chico's pool. <laughs> Uh, this summer, uh, Zima was very popular. Wait, did you well, came back. The Zima did come back. Did you Zima came the back. Pool? Yes. Oh. Well, not the, store, the store. But <laughs> no. Zima was very popular. And I like that. I, was I don't like Zima, but I do like this beer. But I think that's good party beer. You know, you want a solid IPA, you want yeah. a solid lager. You got to get the people what they want, right? Absolutely. But so how do you mean? impress? Like you got like you're in the industry. Do you have to? Do you feel like you have to impress people, or is the party just like? So I mean, he's low impressive low. enough. You're no. impressive enough. I mean, you got the invite. That's what I said. You know exactly. Yeah. You are, I'm here. Right. Usually, I don't bring anything, and then say, "What does everybody else have?" No, but you want to bring you want to bring cool stuff, and I like to bring a lot of stuff, obviously, from Sloop. Of course, yeah. you, love, you, you are Sloop. Hey, and thank you for bringing beer tonight. You now, got I, it. I just thank want to say, you. like, uh, the same question that you were to ask me: if we were to throw a five-episode uh, anniversary, <laughs> what kind of beer we would serve? Oh, we wouldn't just ship some fresh-ass motherfucking beer from Santa Clara. Uh, California and have about 60 uh, bottles of Russian River. That's what we do That's what we at do. the Fence Bar. Yeah. Yeah. That's not uh, what we do ever, by the Come way. Come on, give it, up. give it up. It's the fifth episode. We're gonna That's live my answer. Yeah. Thank you for doing that, by the hey, way. It was a great, great Thank expedition. Thank you, Mike Benz. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, thanks. thanks uh, final question. What is your most memorable memory with definitive, beer? Definitive, definitive moment of beer. beer. Is there a could first good, sip? Is there a girlfriend? Is there? I mean, this is a loaded question because like super loaded. I've seen pictures of you wheelchaired into airplanes and out of wheelchair. <laughs> Check airplanes. Instagram. Later. Well, I, Sean, I, I gotta have, correct I, you on that. I was wheelchaired out of Disney World. Uh, <laughs> to intoxicate. All right. No, no, was no. it the world of Disney? It was a little, but the the, the, the world. The security was perplexed because they're like, "There's no alcohol in here." <laughs> and uh, and a friend of mine in the crowd said, "What about Iceland?" Well, I heard. Some, I heard. Of uh, Iceland was crazy too. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. involved a freaking. Uh, I was shirtless. Wheelchair. I was shirtless in the Blue Lagoon. And <laughs> when I tell you the amount of Europeans that approached me <laughs> <laughs> to sign your belly, so I was like, I kind of want to move there because in Miami I get stared at. You but know? in Iceland, but in Iceland they're like, oh, look at this. So oh, you're probably very uh, desired in Iceland. I think so. Well, they also yeah. like to eat dried shark that's rotten. Right. <laughs> so sad. Very good. Um, so uh, you you've actually uh, <laughs> elevated that question into new levels, but thank you for that. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, That's wonderful. For sure. So, we're going to bring you back in a little bit at, okay. at the end. Okay. But, uh, hey, can we give it all up to Joe Turco? Yeah! Yeah! Can we give it up to Sloop Brewing yeah! Company? Yeah! Thank you for coming out closer. Should I bring this? We've got yeah. Juice Bomb on draft right now, and we've got hey, some, of, some of the what? most delicious. Oh, wait, hold on. Super soft. Here's some tortillas, we give, Here's some we tortillas from La Milpa. La Milpa. Oh, oh, look at that. You're going away from Give him a to go back. Give him a gift. Oh, I love yeah. it. Uh, and try one of them now. They're fresh. Oh, look at this. They're actually fresh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this was fried at the fence bun. Tastes like heaven. I must yep, be in heaven, you. though. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Yeah. Go, dude, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> so, this segment is called what? Beer Brains! 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 We talk about. Let me fill you up. Yeah, we, do that. We, talk about, we talk about beer things, and this is when you educate me on beer. And there was something really interesting about last week's episode uh, when you were talking about the uh, corked and cage. Yes. And the corked and cage is when bottle fermentation happens. Secondary fermentation. Secondary, secondary bottle Either, fermentation. Either uh, adding additional yeast or sugar. And into so you need a bottle. thicker bottle yeah. and the cork. And the key. It's alive, man. It's alive. And you it's need, alive. You need to control it. <laughs> yeah. So it got me thinking. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know anything about, like, growlers or crowlers or, or bottles. Like, bottles. Okay. Six so let, 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 let me talk about this. So we've talked already in Beer Brains about the basic ingredients. We've talked about uh, yeast in excess. Yep. Um, and now yeast. we've figured out what the four ingredients that are primarily in beer. Let's tell them. Water, hops, grain, and the yeast. That's it. That's and it. That's ales it. ferment from the, the top, top. And, and lagers from, from, the, from bottom. the bottom. And they both go. And there's only they two fart out kinds CO2 and alcohol. of beer. There's only ever two kinds of beer. The basics are lagers and ales. And from that, there stems so many, so, so many, many very so many things. But. They're all delivered in a different vessel. So, so how do you get it from the brewery or your retailer to your mouth? Well, that's it. That's what we're talking about. So we have a we have a range of different types of bottles and growlers. I don't have a crowler can, which is kind of sad because I want to talk about it. Yeah. But 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 first and foremost, I wanted to talk about what makes what's the difference between a bottle and a can? Because I think what we're seeing right now in the craft beer movement is there's cans everywhere. Cans, cans, cans. Yep. Cans, because I can, can, can. I go to the beer mart and there's just walls and Boom. walls. Boom. Go cans. to the Chico's, any one of the seven of them. Enough with them. <laughs> uh, enough, enough with them? Oh. No, are you kidding me? They're my boy. <laughs> uh, but but then it, you also have bottles. So here's the dip. Here's the thing. When you're when you're looking at what you want to do to preserve your beer as a brewery, you have to look at the delivery method of getting it from your brewery to through the retailer into the consumer's hands. Those are the three tiers right there. You know, you got to go brewery, brewery retailer, retailer, consumer. Uh, so, so what 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 you want to do is you want to at least make sure that you're protecting the beer from light, because light striking is the first and easiest way to make beer uh, spoil, or at least in, in, involve a chemical reaction that is not what the brewery decided for it. I actually love when we come across things that are not coincidences. You know, like, it's not a coincidence that beer bottles are brown, and there are some green ones, and there are some clear ones, yep. and you basically have horses for horses, which is... Horses it's for horses! That's horses. business quote. Uh, my <laughs> wife talks about horses for horses. You always have a horse for a course. Right? Every, but everything has its own reason. Everything's got its own situation. And purpose. And purpose. That's the word I was looking purpose. for. So let's talk about the purpose of the brown bottles as opposed to the other color okay. bottles. So let's, let's start off with uh, the, 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 the bottle types that I would personally say avoid. Uh, avoid. The, 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 well, no, because yeah, avoid, like, avoid. You, if you have a clear bottle, you're inviting the light to come hit the hit the What's bottle. Can we say it already? Light struck. Light struck. Light struck. Yeah. You Ultraviolet rays. You don't want your They're beer to get. They're impeding the quality of my beer. You don't want your beer to get light struck. No, you don't, because you don't. The flavor is going to generally turn to skunk. Now we bring up our, a little Heineken here, which I think a lot of Americans, when they think of a Heineken or a Bex, America. They think of a. They think it's got this little. When you open it up, there's that little whiff of skunk, and they're like, "Oh my god, I love Heineken. It's so skunky. It makes me feel so good." Well, guess what? That's not what the brewer deserved, that, or, or, or intended. 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 It's what he deserved for your dumbass to drink because of marketing. <laughs> it's a nostalgic feeling of when you open that Bud Light or that Miller Light or that thing. It's just like skunk. It brings you back to your days. I mean, when I was a younger kid before I graduated high school, I thought I was pretty dope that I was drinking the Bix. I drank the Bex, not the Heineken, because 
nobody knew what the fuck Vex was. And I thought that was cooler than Heineken. But they both had the same thing. You'd open them up, you're good. skunk up your nose, and you're like, oh my god, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah. So what is the, what, like, the, the whole other thing that confuses me, and uh, I think everybody knows, like, I really know very little about beer, so I was the guy who would yeah, get a growler, really like, yeah. and uh, I would fill up the growler and think I was getting a really sweet deal, and I'd drink it over, like, a whole week and think, like, oh yeah, this yeah. is a good beer, so, except... If you open up a growler or a crowler, you gotta drink it. You drinking that mother grabber? <laughs> it's it's a time to pate. There's no reason to put it back in your fridge because if you do, it's just gonna get flat, oxidized, and it's but not gonna taste as, good. As soon as you open it, it, it starts to die. Oxygen. In. It starts to die. Oxygen is the enemy of beer. So what's the, the difference? number one enemy? So of beer. what what is the main difference between a growler and a crowler and a can? And like, is there? Okay. It's not a coincidence, right? Well, well first just, of all, like, bottles and cans are are well, the way that the original delivery method from a brewery is going to be able to get, uh, sell it to the retailer so that you, the fine consumer, can take it home with you, right? Yep. Like, like at the beginning of, uh, of, of beer a, 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 after Prohibition, that's what you would get. You'd get a green bottle, a white bottle, or a, a brown bottle. What, when did things go to, like, cans? Like, Ten years ago. Really? Why? In the craft beer game. Just in the craft beer game, ten years ago, everything changed with Oscar Blues. Oscar it, Blues? Oscar Blues and, uh, what's that crappy place called? Butternuts. Butternuts. Buttercup. And it wasn't, the Butter crappy stuff. thing was the fact that they didn't, they didn't, no, it's just, uh, the Fair beers enough. weren't as good as Oscar Blues was putting out. That's all. Oscar Blues makes amazing <laughs> beer, they can't. Um, uh, but, 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 so the change is, honestly, in, uh, what does it cost for me as a brewer to be able to give it to the consumer cheaper? Aluminum is cheaper than uh, glass, and it's also less heavy, and so you could ship it easier. It's more recyclable. And we've gone to s from six packs to four packs because four cans of we go aluminum. To 12 ounce to 16 ounce. Yep. So there's a whole. It's not a coincidence that all of a sudden everybody's drinking cans, right? Well, you can't get smashed over the head with it, also. You can't get smashed over the head with it. Thank yeah. God for that. Well, I, I will say this. Up until 10 years ago, the craft beer movement was moving and moving well. And they were all using brown bottles. And honestly, a brown bottle is going to refract 98.9% .9 of any ultraviolet rays. So if you see a brown bottle, do not run away from it. It is a wonderful person. It's, 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 it's done good. Yeah. There's a reason why it's, it's in a bottle. Well. Bottles are bad. Sean, it's done well. It's, well, you're telling me. It's I'm, done I'm telling well. you. Yeah. It's done well. And, but and there, is there a, why is this bottle so small, which is one of the <laughs> curious things for me. Because if you're on a beach and uh, you are an all-inclusive, they're going to give you eight ounces of a, of a beer, and it's going to stay cold. Yes. Your That's beer it. is never going to get warm That's if it. you could take two sips of it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think to, we're getting a little off topic. Oh, here. are we? Sure, yeah, I think, okay. I think so. We're bouncing around a little bit. Right. So you asked a lot of questions about like the difference between the delivery method, uh, and, and you started talking about growlers. Yeah. So I, I want to move there. Yeah. I, I want to talk about growlers. So growlers generally come in two different sizes. They come in a 32 ounce size, which you can see here from Greenport Harbor, or they come in a, this little little smaller orifice. Uh, from Trillium, but they're both the same thing. There's uh, three 12 ounce pours, or there are two pints. Or you go to Victory, this guy's got a, a nice flip top ceramic with a gasket. Does that, does that allow it to stay fresh longer? Or well, a gasket, in any, yes, a gasket yeah. in anything is going to create a better seal than you're going to get from metal to glass. Yep. And then you also have crowlers. Unfortunately, I went to uh, the Chico and Sons Millwood and I was going to bring back a crowler and I choked. Oh, so I choked sad. people. It's I right. forgot it. It's okay. But a crowler is essentially one of these cans that's twice the size that you can fill up. Um, and uh, the process of bringing beer home to you is you're going to fill up one of these vessels and you're going to counter pressure fill it. You're going to you're going to purge it of all of the oxygen and CO2. And at the same time, you're going to fill it up with delicious beer. And then it's going to foam over and you're going to cap it and you're going to give it to somebody to take home with them. Take home with you. Maybe to their own fence bar. Yep. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think but it's a good idea. You only open a growler, obviously, or a growler once. But that's what you used to do. You used to open up, but he was like, you know what? I, I just thought I just it want was a like, sip. It's my little yeah. sip. No, it's just like a Oh, I'm going to cap it, and then I'll, glasses, I'll yeah. drink it in three weeks. Stupid. No, doesn't work. Hey. Doesn't work. Once you open up a growler, 
or a crowler you have or, to drink it. or anything, it is time to drink You either that need to drink it driver. or get some more friends. If, or <laughs> get prepared to drink flat beer. And that's also, uh, that's your choice. Or that. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. That's great. What was, who was this episode brought to us by, by the way? This episode... I mean, I think this episode, next episode... La Milpa Rosa. Brought to us by, oh, we already did that. I think well, Campbell's two times. Campbell's has been, Campbell's Meats has been here. For is there a Chris? Is there a Chris Chico in the audience? Oh, <laughs> uh, can we bring him on? Boy, is there? Is there a Chris Chico in the audience? Is he going to talk to us about beer report? before beer Cans, report? Crowlers. We're talking about this. We're segueing yeah. into this into beer are report. Are we going to segue? Yes, we are. Chris, come on. Chris, come on. Don't beer, hide please. anymore. Don't Where make me bring on? it. <laughs> oh, Chico. Let's come in. He was just waiting in that. Chris oh, Chico. Hey. Thank you, Chris. Woo! Nice segue. Yeah. Hey, great to see you. Good to see you. Hey, don't so forget to know. cheat to the camera. Hello, great to see you all. <laughs> before, before we get into uh, the bullshit, I want to know yeah. about your trip to Italy, because I saw on Instagram you visited your dad's place. Uh, we did, we Sicily, did. Like right to, outside of Sicily. Right, Calabria. So what was really that about? Sicily. So we went to go see the whole family, went down, a lot of cousins still there. But it's, yeah. a, it's, it's kind of it's amazing great. that uh, like nobody lives there, and like there's no, still like no. your family stuff there, there is right? abandoned houses everywhere in the world. Because there's no property tax, so people just leave their houses, leave their houses. And there, and just, they're falling apart. That's awesome, man. It looked like a really great trip. It was. It was great. It That's was great. awesome. So, uh, because uh, you are the DeChico beer guy, yeah, uh, we brought you on uh, Beer Brains to tell us about how... So, what would you what like I, to know? What I'd like to know is yes. that within the last 10 years, okay. since Oscar Blues has come on board... Yes. And, and Buttercups. And, Butternuts. Butternuts. Uh, <laughs> Butternuts. Oscar Blues is the first. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Uh, but since that has happened, what have you seen as far as what the consumer wants? Because I go into a, a De Chico's yeah. and I see a lot of fucking cans. No, it, it's changed so much. Yeah. I mean, when Oscar Blues first came on the scene, nobody wanted nobody. cans. <laughs> nobody. BPA. Nobody. It's all BPA. What's going to leak into it? It was a hard... To, to convince people that you could, you know, craft beer is good in a can. Right, yeah. And to a certain extent, it's still a certain battle to a certain segment of the population. Okay. Not, our, not our segment. Not our segment, think. no. But a certain part of it. But it's changed so much now. Okay. And yeah. Now it is all about the can. It really is it all, is about, all the about the can. It is all about the can. Yeah. And and it's, it's, how much of it I is mean, actually, how much of it comes down to taste as opposed to economics? That's that's like the, 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 the for, the, all right for the brewery the economics is good because it's cheaper to ship it's cheaper it's lighter yeah. they could less ship weight. more less weight yeah. that's and what about important. the taste very important and the taste yes okay like Sean said you know this is this is still a great vessel you know this is still nothing like what did you say ninety eight point nine percent ninety eight point nine percent of light is still staying out of this this is a hundred percent okay but yeah. ninety eight point nine is this is still a bad. good vessel to drink beer yeah. But the thing with so, this beer is, Sean told me, like, you have to drink it quickly. All, and all IPAs, though. All IPAs. Yeah, all IPAs. No, that's an IPA thing. That's but that's, that's not does, that, does, that change, does that change when you have a can as opposed no. to a bottle? It doesn't matter. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's, a, no. it's a beer you need to drink fresh. Right. So now there are, like, imperial stouts that are coming out in cans that you could age for years. And have you done that? I, yeah, I, and I'm still kind of a little scared. Me even too! Though, even though I still appreciate the can, I'm still kind of a little scared about aging cans a beer in a can for years. It's nice for me to hear you say that you're as scared as I am. I'm still a little nervous about that. I love <laughs> Russian Imperial Stouts. It's one of my right. favorite styles of beer. And I still have bottles that go back to 2004. For sure. You know, I don't have a can that is older yeah. than like two months. Those are coming out. <laughs> we just got one from a killer. It's a $22 can. What? And it, it's, what can? It's a crazy Imperial Is that what you're drinking style. right now? No, I'm drinking an oh. Italian beer. It's Evo Pills. Did you bring Evo that from Italy? Uh, this one actually did not. Uh. Believe it or not. This is not. It's. But it sounds I like there's a backstory back really there. Oh. The, the process that this beer got to America is is worth talking this about. This is interesting. Because yeah. they brew it in Italy. Italy has a lot of export taxes that are, make that beer really <laughs> uh, cost prohibitive to ship, For right? Sure. Yes. Right? Yes. So to get around it, they brewed it and they put it in a tanker. The taxes on a, a volume of one particular vessel of, I don't know how many liters are in it. Yeah. The entire container. It's giant container. container. It's in a... Giant. So where can our neighbors buy this? Well, then beer? they can, but then they bring it to America, to Connecticut, to America. and be united. The the and importer can it there. cans it in America. Yeah. So this is wait a second. Yes. Yes. Hold on a second. So <laughs> how does that the beer get transferred in Italy? over the container? It's not in a giant. container. Uh, it's, it's on the boat. It's a tanker. On the boat. It's like a tanker. That's and then you, you can it out of it's the tanker. What's it called? Like milk. Yeah. Shit. That way yeah. you, yeah. you <laughs> save the taxes because yeah. it's it, you're talking about a whole different realm. We ever even get to concentrate not you because. 
con like juice concentration. <laughs> you never know. I mean, it, it, can you ever get to that point? Because that's what it's going to come down to. I, right? I wouldn't be surprised. I hope concentrated. For I hope not either. But for, you for never Italy's know. Say because they make great beer in Italy, and you can't get it here primarily because it's a per unit taxation. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah, right. awesome. Well, uh, so you brought this beer for us to uh, say, yeah, yeah, or is that one just All for right. you? Enjoy. No, we have more. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. So, Chris, we yes. we're we're going to do something that we don't normally do. What do you want to do? We're going to we're going to transfer into our next segment, oh, right. which is called. Beer report. 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 Beer report is when we talk about uh, what's happening around Westchester. Yes. Like I said, we've been what's told happening? we have to like uh, just pr we'll, we are talking doing the future a little bit. Previously, more. we were sure. talking about what's happening this weekend. Now we realize that people aren't going to watch it. We got to talk about what's happening in May. June. So Shauna, Shauna from wait, Green Growler. Wait, 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 wait. Shauna, she's Come got out. a big uh, seven-year itch anniversary party yes. that's happening in May. The anniversary yes. coming up. She's got out. a series of different events that are coming on, nice. which Shana. we'll talk about. Uh, no, she's not coming up oh, she's here. Not coming out, right. No, but I'm just saying, like, that's what we're at. We're, go to uh, Green Growler's <laughs> website and find out about Seven what's happening. Seven years, Green Growler. Google, Seven years. Google Green Growler. But because you're here, great, yeah. and you've done, you've been such an integral part of not only the Westchester uh, beer community, yeah. but I would dare to say the United States yeah. beer community. Wait, are we going and into beer report right beer. now? This, this is, is beer report. Because before we go into beer report, first of all, we need to talk about the two sponsors of beer report. All right. <laughs> two sponsors of beer report. We've got two sponsors. <laughs> We've got these pineapples. Oh, these pineapples. Oh, these pineapples. Oh. Matt Campbell oh. right. and Jose. Thank you, Jose and Matt Campbell. For us. Those have been on the Sado since like 2.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure and also, <laughs> that was good. Beer report. Mm, it's right also now. sponsored by the Chico's. Oh, oh, hey! There you go. Oh, beer report it is. By the Chico's and Sons. Wow, look at that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, cool. So, <laughs> what you guys got going on you anytime you in the next month? something going on, by the way. Thank you for the... Uh, Etched yeah, oh, that, that came, came that yeah. came from the Chico's Millwood. Nice, there you go. Yeah, and uh, it was a big, big thing. But you guys got, I think, a wild game thing. We have a wild game night coming up, but I'm sorry to say it's basically sold out. What? Oh, yeah. 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 Is there a uh, what? Get yeah. tickets on, Can I get uh, in? Second market? We have, I think we have one more ticket on Saturday night. <laughs> Can I get it? You get it. I got it. You I got it. Get it. Get it. Get it. What if you have a fall pass? I'm sure we can. All right, we got it. We can get you both. What if you have a fall pass? That's the 27 20. 28th of April. It's a wild game night in Millwood. So yeah, talk to me about... Wild game and beer night. So it's wild game. Are you pairing five courses with five beers? Yeah, I believe we're doing five and five. Nice. Yeah. It's going to be pretty wild. Yep. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> so, so, but also... We have... All right, so this the is, 26th, is big the 26th of April, it's a Thursday, Frank Boone is going to be here, which is a big You're deal. You're competing with Fence Bar, by the way, on the 26th. Oh, we're going to be filming no. that, too. Yeah. No. Maybe right, we'll right. do it on the road. You should. We'll do a fence bar no. at the... Uh, which, no. which the Chico's Armand. 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 That's right. That so, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. What, so what's happening? Frank, so Frank Boone, who's the founder of Boone Lambic, Lambic. Brewery in uh, Belgium, is going to be in America, and he's doing his one and only event in the Chico's Armand. Are there it's tickets still available? There are some tickets available. Some we're doing, tickets available? So we're doing... It's a $25 ticket. You get... Do I get drunk? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have an you'll, you'll educational get, you'll get experience. You'll get four different vat beers wine. that he does. Single vats. But they're such a low alcohol cheap. beers. They are. But then after that, it's going to be pu to the public. You know, meet the brewer, hang nice. out, a bunch of the beers. So, you know, you don't need a ticket to go and hang out with Frank. Nice. Which is a big deal. Frank, Frank is very important. That's if, awesome. If you enjoy Lambics and Goose, like, he Ooh, dude, is... Could you know this guy named Frank Boone? <laughs> So Frank, Frank Boone's going to be here. He's going to be in America. And this is one of his last times in America. Here I come in America. Okay. Bring so my Lambics to America. <laughs> Frank, Frank Boone pretty much saved the Lambic and Goose. All right, so entire. what's the difference between a Lambic and a Goose? Like, I, So a Lambic is a one-year-old Lambic. A Goose is a blend of a one-year, two-year, and three-year. What, makes a, what makes a Goose a Goose? A Goose, you're blending the different years together. So it's car a straight Lambic is, is flat. Okay. You have no carbonation. Really? Straight land. The goose is where you're blending the different years, then you get the carbonation, it's a lot more complex. Okay. It's yeah. <laughs> so I'll, we'll I'll be able to enjoy some. that. Uh, yeah. So yes. when is that again? That. When is that again? Uh, April 26th. Right. April yeah. 20th. Uh, Thursday. Is it Thursday? We're going to do Fenzor there. We're doing your We're part not doing Fenzor there. Fr Fred Boone does not give a shit about Fenzor, too. <laughs> no, but I want to get to that. I don't know. It's going to be pretty wild. Oh, well, maybe he does. It's going to be wild. So this is his only <laughs> event in America. It's amazing. It's it's amazing. I hear he might be retiring. He's going to be retiring. His sons are taking over. So this might be it. This is your chance. This is it, guys. Get your tickets. So if you ever gone. 
gone to a, a Whole Foods or a Chico and Sons or anybody that's got a, a, a lambic section, if you think of the one bottle that's got it's a tan uh, cover on it, yeah. and generally they're raspberries and uh, they're so different cherries, flavors, there's do. different ones, and most of them are fruit. Uh, they're, they're, they're using primarily fruit as the fermentation, so it would be an adjunct ingredient. Yep, adjunct. Um, and, but that's what they're known for. So yeah. if you see uh, essentially like a, a lambic, you're seeing Boone. And, yeah, and, Boone, and Boone He started it back up in the United does States. Does Boone have a Wikipedia page? Uh, yeah, definitely. Good. Definitely, definitely. Do we have a Wikipedia Boone? page? Not yet. <laughs> Somebody get on it. Star Come one on. tonight. Come on. <laughs> I think we can do this. <laughs> We need, it. we need to have our 10 episodes, I think, before. But. I think so, too. Yeah. Well, that's Almost great. Is there, anything, is there anything else that's happening at any other of your seven locations? Those are locations? some big ones. Those are some big ones. Millwood is, and Nick reminded me before I got oh, in here, Nick's do, Nick is doing at Millwood. Nick's what my guy, dude. Nick's the man. Nick. One and a half year old. Lauren. Lauren's right there. Lauren, you better right. give straight Woo. fucking yeah. shout out. Nick Millwood. Lauren. They're awesome. the two best. Uh, they're, and they're throwing a one in year half. And Brendan is here, too, right? Yeah, Brendan's here. Brendan. When did they get the Rolexes? When did they get the Casio? When do we get to do that after a swatch? Uh, one day, one day. <laughs> All right. They're going to throw that party. The details coming soon. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Hey, nice. thank you so much for coming thank out. You. This is awesome. Great. Yeah. You, uh, you guys have been our sponsor for so long. Yeah. You didn't even know it. No. You're, you're actually our first ever sponsor. There you go. Yeah. And yeah. Thank, you, thank you for the <laughs> ice tonight. <laughs> and the guacamole The guacamole, the guacamole I knew that guac was so good. It was yours. No wonder it was so yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, come yeah. back. Come yeah. back and help us. I knew when I had it. At the end of the night, uh, at the end of this, you're going to come back, come back and help us break the music. Hey, yeah. take one of these. Here, take a blind pick to go. All right. Yeah. To go. All right. Thank you, Chris. Bring it up. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Woo! Thank Woo! You. Chris DiCicco, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So we have about 40 Whoa. plus people here waiting to drink plight. Yeah. Right? We're gonna have let's, let's tease them with the fence life. First. Can, we, can we bring out the fence life? Because we've just had fence life. Fence life is basically so. Fence life is who's bringing it? Uh, are you do people bringing it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you guys want to talk about fence life? Right now? Yeah, you want to bring it? Well, I want to talk about what fence life has traditionally been. You fence life that. has traditionally been how uh, we've had so many people reaching out to us and just being like, how can we come over? How can right. we come to fence bar? That, that's the big thing. It's like like I know that we, we're having a lot of fun, right? And the big thing that we're doing here is trying to reach out to make more neighbors and friends. More friends get but to know more it, this is a uh, this is a neighbor. <laughs> this is our backyard. It's our backyard. So we're not just letting in. Any random strays, we're letting in our friends and whoever their friends yeah. are. They're not random strays, man. They're, no, they're no, we are all random strays. Collab, we are here. We found a move. So fence, fence life has really been about bringing a little bit of the fence. What we do here, life to your house, to your house. And we've had so many people reaching out to us about <laughs> fence bar and how can we fence bar at our place. And right. we've had people actually, I've, I've connected with people in Australia, which is we're awesome. international. Dude. I've been trying to reach out to the furthest people as possible. <laughs> uh, to ship, we have, we've got our first fence bar that we're shipping Bring to it West in. Hartford. Oh my God! So it's coming. My best friend Tom is here. Wait for and it. Is Tom here? Tom oh, is yeah, here. he is here. Tom is here. And he's come all the way from West Hartford oh to pick God. up his fence bar. The first ever fence bar to go. Yep. And right. here it is. That's right. Woo! If you think Woo! you're having a good time now, bring it to me. Bring it to me. What do you think about what that? What do you think? I love it. Yeah. What do you think? Ready to expand to Connecticut. Yeah, let's hard right. work, people. <laughs> All uh, right. Where's your beer? Howdy, neighbor. I need one. Where is it? Oh, hey. Uh, Rob Mexico. Drink it. Yeah. You can get a straight um, man. So, so this has been the first fence, fence life where we've actually been trying to sell uh, someone something. We're not really trying to sell anything. It's just like it, it was a need. You know, it's like any great businesses are all driven by a need. And uh, because people want to come to our house that we don't necessarily know, uh, we figured, hey, guess what? You could do it at home. Take the fence bar. Take it home! Oh, and then we'll come to you and see if you can come here. And, and what is your quote, Sean? Can you remember your quote right can now? Can I remember my quote? Everything? Be okay, so fence life is because you can't always fence life at the fence bar doesn't mean you can't always fence bar in your, your life. life. That's right. Oh, in your life. That's right.
say? It says that right there. Is that engraved? Uh, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you got it. And we all yeah, it's engraved. Yeah. Right. So anyway, if you go to Walmart.com, we're selling this crazy <laughs> Sean and Sharif. We got a 10% off sale Ephesus because not crazy. we have sold it. Only 10%? Uh, well, only 10%? Well, <laughs> free installation in Westchester. Yes. In Connecticut. Yeah. yeah Connecticut, well, Connecticut is free. Uh, yeah, not Connecticut so normally, so but yeah, Westchester yeah, only yeah. will deliver for free. Yeah, that's like awesome. Anyway, uh, so that's fence life. I mean, we've taught you how to build the fire, the fire pit, the you kindling, to, once you, the once fire you get, starter. Once, once you the get, next step is to get your own fence bar to bring your neighbors right. over, to unite your communities, to have a place where you can all hang out and do what we're doing right now. And that's having fun, getting to know each other, and loving the fact that this is where we live. Eat more tacos. And eat more tacos. Can we ra can we Guys, rank some beers? Let's wait, rank some beers. Hold tonight. on. Well, uh, wait, we just talked about our major sponsor this evening. The oh, major sponsor. It? It's Sloop Brewing. Sloop Brewing oh, Company. Wait, that's, that's Russian a, River. It's Russian that's River. That's a sneaky Sloop. Russian River. Whoa, that's sneaky. That's me. I'm sneaky. Russian River. Russian River Find is our. We already talked. We uh, Russian there. River. So so everybody that's in the audience right now, there's about 40 of us. We've shipped over 60 uh, bottles of Pliny the Elder, a little bit of Ron Mexico, and some STS, and I told them all to be quiet and, and, and pleasant uh, so they could enjoy one bottle themselves. So we're about to finish it up because the quietness, it should be quiet right now. Who That's bullshit. Everybody in the back, like all the way in the back, who wants a Russian River? Yeah. All the way over here by the DJ, who wants a Russian River? Yeah. Let me clear my throat. Let's do it. Thank you. Every time I've done anything like this, I would work. Nice place to take a little cat nap uh, at the fence bar. What's what's going on? We didn't rate the beers last night. We didn't rate the beers. Holy cannoli! How can we finish episode five if we don't rate the beers? We can't. Let me brush my teeth. Okay. All right. Come with me. Uh, we gotta do soft surf. That was delicious. By Sloop. Super soft. Super soft. The single shot uh, treehouse was delicious. The Kelsa mosaic was off the chains. What's our dad light of the night? Oh, safety glasses. Where is that? This guy. No, uh, tools of the trade, man. Tools of the trade is the dad light. And then, hold on. Hey, do you want to open the mint? Yeah. Amy, should oh, we open we the mint? Op we opened it last night. Oh, we did? Yeah, that's why it's up. No, we did it. Ah. Oh. All right, so I think the keg of juice bomb is number one. That thing was delicious. I think we go, oh wait, we got a shopper. We got a shopper, the STS. I know this wasn't your favorite, but I think that's an amazing beer. Sloop was our guest, so we only had 36 Pliny's last night. 
That's gotta go back there. I think we do the treehouse, the super soft, the Kelso, and then we double up the uh, tools of the trade as the dead light. All right. All right. All right. There you go. So, uh, Schaffer, Schaffer, two Schaffs. I mean, this was a big night last night. Uh, and then uh, I, I think this is a pretty good one and an honorable mention, even though we haven't opened it yet. I don't see Blind Pig up there, though. Oh, you want a Blind Pig? Uh, Ooh, it might be at the bottom. I drank those pretty did quickly. You, did you take a look at these? This is a heck of a recycling pile. There's a lot of Blindy. Look at all the Blindy! There we go. All right, one more. Then we'll do. Uh... All right. Is that right? That's it. Let's do it. So we're uh... episode five. We can finally finish. Here's our rankings. Howdy, neighbor. See you at the next fence bar. Do what the alchemist says. Recycle your cans. Don't be a don't be a d bag. <laughs>